Welcome, Aries. This is your heart spread read, January 2022. Welcome. Cancun, Mexico. It's a cloudy morning here, Monday morning. The third, just coming off the new moon. So guys, this spread is eight cards. You already set it up, forgive me. And you can trust me that we shuffled. It's my first reading of the day. And the outcome is the king of pentacles. I'm just going to start with that. So the outcome's good. All right, let's, let's see how we get there. Um, this uh, is the bottom of the deck, which I do read heavily in the heart spread. So this page of wands. And you see, he's looking, um, this is you, okay? And um, this over here, this is your person here. So um, I believe this is your person. So they possibly uh, could come across as being younger than you or actually be younger than you. But they would have initiated whatever's going on between you guys. Um, this is the one on your mind. Whoever it is you're thinking about. It's not necessarily the one you're with. It's the one that's really on your mind. Is what this picks up. Um, and I think this is your person here. Which then shows up in the new number two position with the hanged man. So your person is someone that's, if there's any doubt, I believe they're being very authentic. Because this is their position in and around love and relationship. I kind of try to separate that out. I'm asking spirit. Let's separate this out to just get a beat on where the person's at on their own. So it may not this energy have anything to do with you, but it'll have everything to do with you once you align, right? So this is a good energy to come in with, I believe. Um, they're uh, probably not out looking. Um, it, they're being very open-minded. Uh, they've probably been through a lot in the past, and this typically... It, when I see it in this position, it indicates someone's on the spiritual path to me. Um, they put themselves into position. Like, so this is a love and relationship reading, okay? So likely, um, the impetus of their energy here to go inside, to really try to see things from that different perspective, um, it came from love. And I think when they show up in this position, they're, now they're pretty well mastered it. They've you know, uh, they've figured out whatever they need to figure out. So they can move forward in, from this position into love with, I believe, out of as much, um, you know, projection. So and they're being very authentic. That's important. So you are coming in. I love the Ace of uh, Pentacles, especially in this deck, okay? Uh, this is the uh, Gilded Terre Royale. So how robust is this? So this represents you, Aries. It's... Uh, any of the aces or Aryan, you know, ace uh, number one, the first house. Um, and <clears throat> this shows someone that's uh, very mature, very stable, very, uh, I get here very single. This is an, and I do already want to look at this as your energy away from how you're feeling about the relationship, really. But this is someone who's really would be focused on themselves and focus on their life. And, um, you know, when you have the Ace of Pentacles, I mean, you're you're about to move up into, well, about King of Pentacles. <laughs> that's where that's going um, here. So both of you are coming into this relationship, I think, uh, really well, really uh, solidly. Um, and that's huge, okay, because that's how it starts, no? So then we look over here. Now, this is your energy as you're relating to them. What's going on with that? And how are they making you feel? How are you feeling about them? Look at the similarities in colors, too. Oh, we got very different uh, cards here. I do, once again, see your person would be the one, man or woman here. Uh, possibly you might, you know, have a Pisces personality, I should say. You know, always think sun, moon, rising, and Venus for that, you know. And But um, they're coming in very strongly towards you. That's facing you, you know, as was that. Uh, page of wands on the bottom of the deck um uh, you could literally be looking at a person astrologically who just is has a, a mixture of water and air and fire with the page of wands you're like i have no air in my chart you know no significant planets in in air so um someone like that uh, astrologically and 
just the, the Knight of Pentacles again is them coming across really straightforward. They probably there wasn't they were, they were the aggressor. It's always Mars energy. Um, if they are a Pisces, I mean they could have an Aquarius Mars or a Gemini Mars. Uh, most likely, I bet you. Okay, if they're Pisces, you know their chart, and you probably would know that just with the date when you need the time. So, you know, uh, if there's any doubts about their sincerity, about like they, I don't know if they told you like what they've been through. I think they have worked through it. They do kind of understand things now at this kind of deeper level, um, and they're just bringing it to you straight up here in. I believe, you know, with this Ace of Pentacles, this means a lot how these two cards relate, you know. And this is someone here, like, by the way, that they've thought about it. They know, and once they see what they want, they're just going after it. Like, they're very clear now, very clear. There's no haziness, there's no foggy thinking, there's no, like, second thoughts and doubts and projections. And they just see you, uh, Aries, and they want you, and they're just coming straight on up. You, I think you... Just trust them here. Now, with judgment, though, I think this is triggering for you uh, something pretty big. So, of course, I think all uh, relationships are soulmate relationships, so uh, not unusual. But uh, you must really be interested in this person um, because uh, it's really making you go deep. And you probably feel something about them that they're interested in you. Uh, stimulate some uh, old fear, yearning. Uh, it's like the uh, second to last card in the Celtic cross, you know, the hopes and fears and hopes and dreams and fears uh, all mixed up. And it brings out some kind of stirring in you, you know. Um, and this stirring might not even exactly be romantic. It's, uh, um, it, it might be like a spiritual, just the way they communicate. This communication swords and the way they think. And uh, it's um, causing you to kind of go back in yourself and go, whoa, you know, maybe I need to think about the direction I want to go. You know, whatever direction you go, you're going. I mean, you know, it's just a matter of your cho choosing. And exactly what would happen when a relationship comes in. Like, I mean, the most simple way is like, Maybe if you lived a million years, you'd never naturally go to an opera and you marry someone or whatever. Go and they really love opera. And lo and behold, you find out you love opera, you know, and you would have never found out if that knight of swords hadn't come racing in saying, let's just got our tickets, bitches, let's go. So now this is interesting, though. This is advice from spirit. So these three cards this is advice from spirit for you in regards to your person in this relationship. Advice from spirit for your person in regards to you, I believe. And then this is the advice for a relationship as a whole. So I got to be honest with you, this is a challenging reading. I, I looked at this a few minutes um, before I put it up here, before I started up here. Um, and these are the three most important, like the bowl of the heart, the core here. Um, and, you know... Spirit does it. I think it's not going to advise you to bicker, uh, but also this is training. This is to be open. Like, okay, one thing that get, comes to me with judgment over the five of wands, it, often the judgment is kind of scary. Like, we don't react well to it. It's kind of like, or else we would have already done it. It's like, you know, you need to start meditating, and you know, it's like, I know, I'm going to do it, but. You know, now something comes up and you really, I mean, literally could be like your doctor tells you, well, you know, one way to handle this issue is you know, regular meditation. And uh, then you get that from someone else and your roommate or lover also meditates or something. And so you're getting this mess. So, you know, this could be being open to these. These are actions, ones, uh, to conflicting uh, actions in uh, um, be prepared to engage. I think this is about like engaging in um, this could be sexual too. I'm gonna be honest with you. And for your person, I think with the three of wands, I don't so much see this is advice from spirits. I don't think a spirit is telling them to keep it open. Um, I think what spirit is telling, you know, they've been in this hangman uh, mode 
And now they want to really engage you. So I believe what's going on here is they're probably practically sharing religious experience, spiritual experience, psychological healing, emotional experiences. Um, and for you, I think you're very stable here. Maybe what this judgment is, you, there's stuff you haven't gone down into yourself, um, Aries. And, you know, it wouldn't even have to be them bringing this three of wands to you um, by, you know, berating you or anything or directing you. Just, just by simply bringing that energy to you and sharing themselves with you and their experience. And, and maybe, you you know, as you develop feelings for them and connect with them emotionally, again, this is really bringing up their own judgment for you. You know, I mean, they could be, I don't know, they're talking about self-love and how they did it and the changes and... Then you're kind of like, ah, oh, that's that Stuart Smalley, Saturday Night Live thing. Ugh, gag me with a spoon. I don't know, something like this. Now, this is the um, advice from Spirit down here uh, with the page of uh, swords. I have, you know, I have to relate it back. Can we got the colors here? Uh, so this is advice from Spirit for the relationship as a whole. So I think it points to how they're reacting to you and how you're reacting to them. Um, and this is about a conversation. This is about something. I'm going to have to clarify this, guys. But this is something that I think in between you, these, this issue here, it's causing this. And, and this isn't bad, this friction. It's causing sexual tension in your astrology or sensory. It's probably like Mars square, Venus, Venus square, Mars, Pluto square, uh, Mars, uh, something like that. Definitely Pluto square, Mars. Um, it's probably a natural part of how your relationship is supposed to go. Uh, but there's something that needs to be said between you guys or realized or, or conceived uh, that was going to set your relationship up for real success here. I mean, with the King of Pentacles, with the outcome of the heart spread, um, and I will say this, Aries, it's going to go, the relationship never 50-50, so 60-40, whatever it is. Uh, it's going to kind of go your way and it's going to be a very solid relationship. So I, I maybe what this kind of fear that's associated with being called up by the judgment card, remember that's Pluto too. There you go with that Pluto square Mars or that could be Pluto, uh, their Pluto on your north node, their Pluto on your sun, any personal planet, that kind of energy. It's like, uh, boom, what are they bringing? They're bringing, uh, you know, uh, transformation here. They're not bringing you the cup here. <laughs> They're not a cup, a knight of cups. Um, so this conversation uh, might be pointed. In, it might not necessarily be a conversation. Just something in the mind uh, that has to stop or start. King of Pentacles. <laughs> so now you have the King of Pentacles, uh, King of Wands under the King of Pentacles. Wow, and that's clarifying the advice from spirit for the relationship as a whole. Look, guys, man, thank you, spirit. It, you know, when they get so clear, it's like you just know it's, a, I think, a message is, really needs to come in. So what's going on between you guys, this tussle, this energy, um, it, that's, uh, it's, it's leading you towards uh, becoming the king of wands. So both of you need to act. You need to say you need to have sex you need to have a carnal relationship uh you, you need to get a, a blood sweat tears bones relationship you know uh no more theory uh no more just being self-contained and on your own maybe that's what you're being called up i mean you know it this is like you know realize that through the processes of the dirt and grit and reality of a relationship like um, and I, in romance, even all of it, you know, this is saying you will become the king of wands as a couple, and ultimately that will make you very stable. You know, so you you won't be the king of wands uh, couple who's you know frivolous and look at me and anything like that. Um, this will kind of just ignite the passion for both of you. I think I see this again as another reading. Another way to put it is like literally together, you're a little bit stronger than you are apart, no matter how strong each of you may be in your own rights, you know. Um, 
and you'll settle all of this issue. But I'll just say this here. He's, you didn't pick this uh, apple off of the tree here by accident. You know, it's all about lessons and how we grow. So whatever's going on, you know, and, you know, you get to bring your own flavor to the experience here, right? It's not, uh, uh, I doubt that they're being dogmatic. You know, it's not like they're trying to get you to join a cult. Um, it's just, you know, uh, probably radical to your experience, what, what they're bringing. So, and they bring it with a, a lot of uh, sexuality. You, know, you guys have this fantastic sex life, which is great. That can really open you up, too. That's all part of this, too. Probably for both of you. With this three and ones for them, they, they need to have sex. You need to lighten it up, uh, get out, uh, maybe have a little adventure. You know, go away on a road trip where you don't make reservations ahead of time or something crazy or, or, or backpacking in the wilderness together. Let me know what you think, guys. Really appreciate it. Appreciate your likes. Need your help. Likes help the AI. God, help means what it is. <laughs> Move along and get this out to other areas. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus uh, thing. And uh, do subscribe if you haven't. Thank you, guys.